Hey guys, Speedo here again. Uh, I just want to do a quick little video on uh, how to use the moose menus uh, in the dynamic mission on uh, Persian Golf, and, uh, and it functions much the same way on uh, on Cogsman as well. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So uh, when you first get into the mission, uh, you've got the uh, comms menu, which you can pull up with backspace while you're on the ground. Uh, if you're in the air, then you'll have to use uh, left alt. Uh, or right, I'm sorry, right alt or right control to bring up the comms menu depending upon if you're using it for um, the left radio or the right radio. Uh, but that's only when you're airborne, and that's just because uh, simple radio is turned off. So, uh, bring up the comms menu, we can see that we have uh, this F10 other menu. If we bring that up, we've got our air boss, we've got our statistics and scoring, our air to ground missions, uh, and then some Skynet stuff for the IADs. So if uh, if I'm starting off here on the carrier, on the super carrier, and I want to uh, have it turn into the wind uh, to make sure that it's doing uh, its right amount of speed down the uh, down the deck, then I can go to CVN 71 after I go to Air Boss. Then I got a couple options. I can go to uh, to help. I can have it mark zones. I can have it uh, tell me my status. And this stuff mostly uh, will will um, is talking to the uh, the Moose Air Boss, which uh, doesn't coincide with the uh, uh, DCS new ATC system with the super carrier so uh, this stuff is a little bit is separate um, but what I can do is I can go in here I can go to knee ward I can go to skipper menu and I can either start case one recovery right off the bat um, and it'll start case one recovery with the defaults that are set in the script which is uh, 90 minutes um, turning into the wind, uh, does a U-turn at the end of its 90 minutes back to the direction it came, uh, and I think a zero degree holding offset if uh, if you pick these two or three. But you can also define that yourself. So I can go in here and I can set uh, two, 30 zero, knots. Zero, roger. I can go um, go back, CVN, D-board, skipper, time. Say I only wanted to do it for two, 15 zero, minutes. Zero, roger. And say I want a 15 degree Two, zero, zero, roger. holding off bit. And then once I, I, I can do this uh, U-turn if I want to, it's uh, by default it's set to turn on, so it'll uh, it'll turn back in the direction that the boat will turn in the direction it came from and, uh, and reset, um, so I don't have to do that. So then I just come in here and I hit uh, start Two, case zero, one. Zero, affirmative. And it gives me a five minute uh, warning before it starts. And then if I uh, were to speed up time, look at the F10 of the carrier, I could see that currently the carrier is doing 10 knots. So then I can go to the LSO camera. And I can look here and I can see that the let me turn the audio down a little bit so then I can go in here and I can see that the wind across the deck is set to 26 knots and it's for four knots from three to four knots from starboard so I can manually do this myself too I can I don't have to use the uh, the script if I don't want to um, I can go into the F10 menu and I can click on the ship if I have uh, combined arms. And then knowing that the speed of the ship is 10 knots currently, there's 60 knots across the deck, and I want to get to about 30, I can add another 5 to it. Um, change it to 15, and we'll see where that goes. So then it'll start speeding up immediately. And now I'm at 28 knots, 29 knots. And we we'll want to get to about 29 knots, so let's stop it there. He's at 14. We'll knock it down to 13 just to be safe. Oh, we can't. About 14. So we got 28 knots coming down the angle. Now if I wanted to adjust the heading, I could come in here, click on him, set a path. Maybe. Okay. 
Oh, I don't have control of the unit. Something I have to add in the mission editor. That's okay, though, because the script is taken over. But 28 knots across the deck. Um, I can see three knots from starboard. Um, I can get my list and trim uh, for uh, for the bow up, bow down, um, the, the listing from left to right as well. Um, and then when I'm trapping aircraft, I can see that I have my, my hook touchdown, hook to ramp, and things like that. Also have my ship's heading, so 272 degrees is ship's heading. The deck is clear and uh, pretty much gives me all the information that I need from there. Uh, and that's just a way that you can uh, you can kind of get the, the boat set up the right way so that um, it's got the right wind for recovery um, and, and your, your beam turn and things like that aren't knocked off because the ship is too slow. Uh, or the wind isn't enough. So, all right. So we've got that in uh, in the bag. So then let's go to back to other. Then we have this uh, start air to ground missions. This is turned off by default because uh, not everybody wants to come in to fly missions, and it, it provides a lot of information on the screen that can kind of get uh, a little bit distracting. So if we start the air to ground missions, uh, we give it a second to uh, start populating. It's going to start giving us some tasks. So. Right off the bat, we have uh, 0153-0238, strike missions. So then I can come in here. Now I have a new option. I have command center, which is uh, banger 11 is a wall banger, or is uh, our uh, AWACS. I can come in here. I can see what kind of mission it is. So uh, critical mission probably is one that, that you'd want to engage in before anything else. Uh, and then we've got new missions being detected as well. So 0325, 0488, and uh, 0553. So now I want to go to this mission, and I have a couple options. I can get the briefing. It's going to tell me what um, what the mission is. There's rocket artillery pieces that are uh, firing on civilian locations in Oman. Um, we, could, we could accept that task. Uh, and uh, what we can do is we can go to our F-10 look at the F-10 uh, map, go back here, go to that mission. I can mark the task location on map, and then I'll get a red pop-up uh, mark, mark map location. This is giving me a general idea as to where this, um, this th uh, mission is going to take place. It's not going to give me the exact location. Um, it's just going to give me a general route of, uh, of where it's located. And uh, it's telling me what kind of threat it is. So it's got uh, tanks and infantry fighting vehicles with air-to-ground missiles, uh, giving me the wind speed, the temperature, uh, and the direction from where the wind is coming from. So then I can go in here, go back to the uh, the mission. I can get task reports for uh, a summary of, of current tasks, held tasks, failed tasks, um, planned tasks. So currently planned is uh, the strike these these targets these tanks and infantry fight, in infantry fighting vehicles there's five total uh and again giving me the uh, qfe and uh information at the uh, at the target and then i can accept it join the task and now it's assigned to me so uh it's going to give me my first target that i need to attack uh and it's telling me what's in, in that group. So there's uh, two Urals, two man pads, uh, BTR-80, uh, eight infantry, and a Ural 375, and one Kraz. So now I know what I have to, uh, what I'm going to be attacking. Uh, there's 15 total targets, um, giving me the uh, location here, the degrees, minutes, decimal se seconds, decimal seconds for the target, um, make it a little bit easier to find. Um, but I could also just go in here and I can uh, click on this mark point and uh, and use my um, grid coordinates up here, uh, or latitude and longitude to uh, to mark it as a uh, location as well, and uh, and then go about attacking it that way. And that's also for like the uh, Tomcat guys who don't have uh, the ability to put in seconds, decimal seconds. You can go left, alt, y, and uh, and then go to uh, your degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, with the three digit seconds as well. So that's an option. And when you do these tasks, they uh, are designed that uh, the critical task will will lead to further tasking. 
uh, further inland. So when the mission restarts, uh, it should give you missions. Once those critical tasks have been completed, uh, missions moving further inland um, to uh, to new targets that are uh, away from the uh, the coastline, progressing further and further until you get closer to Shiraz and um, Kerman and Jiraf and um, those areas. So that is a uh, is a rundown of uh, how to use the um, the air to ground missions and how to use the air boss in the uh, in the game. Uh, hopefully that uh, was uh, of use to you guys. And if you have any questions, uh, concerns, comments, or anything like that, please feel free to uh, to reach out and let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. And uh, other than that, uh, see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.